Buongiorno, benvenuti a tutti a questa bella festa italiana. Sono per Luigi Olivero, Councilman di San Jose. As you may know, we have some Italian politicians, and some related. So let's have some fun in jest. Sam Licardo. As a child, he was observed at late at night dancing the Tarantella dance and selecting his favorite teddy bear, Massimo, as a dance partner. I can tell you that I have seen Sam's dancing talents at the Jazz Festival, and it is not to be missed and look forward to his performance later tonight. Dave Cortese. As a child, Davide was fascinated with the great talents of Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra and performed nightly for the family at dinner by singing. Actually, he had to sing in order to get dinner. I have witnessed Dave sing these great songs at a karaoke lounge for Filipino Independence Day and hopefully he will grace us with his great talent today on this very stage. Mayor Reed, Italian by marriage. However, some believe he is Italian. You see, Mayor Reed is famous for being a tightwad when it comes to spending money, which has made many Genovese hillside farmers envious, and they feel he's like one of them. Pete McHugh, primo. Look at the size of this man. Well, he was also a good-sized baby. So when the doctors first saw Primo at his birth, they exclaimed, Dio mio e mamma mia. Jim Bell. Now we all know that Merry Christmas in Italian is Buon Natale, and one of the first words out of a child's mouth in Italy is Babbo, which means father. So it is no surprise that Jim Bell is Italian by his natural appearance as Babbo Natale. <laughs> Paul Fong, not Italian or is he? Well, Paolo's biggest accomplishment in Sacramento is to been ban shark fin soup as an ingredient uh, in soup. Well, the Italian Cipino Soup Trade Organization is a big fan of Paolo. Since Cipino has plenty of gamberone, vongole, and cozze, aragoste, and altri pesci, but never shark fin. So the Italian Cipino Soup Trade Organization has been increasing their worldwide exports and thanks him. As for me, both my parents were born in Italy. I've shown my love for my heritage by my ability to consume in great volume gnocchi, panettone, zabaione, prosciutto, and mozzarella. My love of Italian food gave me a 38-inch waist in elementary school, where I was often mistaken for Danny DeVito. Lucky for me, I read Dante Alighieri's Divine Comedy and learned about the sin of gluttony. I now only consume polenta and peroni, especially today at the festa. Grazie a tutti. <laughs>